I mean... Are we to know, will we know, Father Martin, when the Antichrist is with us? Yes, we will. We have been given three signs by the scripture and confirmed by all doctrine and teaching for almost 1900 years. It's very simple art. That's first of all, the first sign, the, the major sign is this. In his day, I mean, when he's active, because he's, he's here already, but um, he's not active. But when he is active, there will be problems, human problems, confronting us as a race, as a society of nations. Problems we can't solve. Our best, the best and the brightest of our, of our, of our technocrats and scientists and theorists, and leaders will not be able to solve them. He will. That's the first thing. He will produce the solutions for them. And people will be so overwhelmed with gratitude and with relief that somebody has the solution which works, they will say to him, and the second sign is this, you must be divine. And the third sign is, he will say, kneel down and adore me. I am indeed your God. Then we have Antichrist. You said he is here now. He is he's not yet alive. active. I, I have heard this. That he's that alive. The Antichrist is now alive. And he cannot die until Christ kills him. He has this pseudo-immortality. And don't ask me where, how, who, what. Um, how do we know that much? How do we know that? From the second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. If you read carefully, those three signs are there. And the fathers of the church, the early, the early writers between 100 A.D. and 600 A.D., they're the, the early writers, the Greg, two Gregories of Nisan, Nazian, St. St. Basil, all those who wrote the origin, the fathers of the church, the basic writers, um, they all agreed on the character and the signs of the Antichrist uh, appearance. There are those, my listeners, uh -huh. many of whom believe that the signs are all around us now. The children, the blank-eyed killers, the soulless killers. I know. That's uh, not the killing of exorcists, uh, the ritual murdering of exorcists, uh, murder right. in the Vatican, just to name a few of the more recent within hours. But the, there are people who will say, these are signs that he is with us now. Yes, there are signs that he is with us now, but the, re the reign of Antichrist will be very, very signal very clear and the only source we have is that second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians and those three signs and he has not yet started his operation well father I am not going to suggest uh -huh. that our president uh -huh. uh, is the Antichrist and there no, are many not. in my audience no, believe he's not. Me, he's just uh, a very uh, naughty man uh, many many who would however is it not reasonable to look at what the president is alleged to do on a fairly regular basis yes. and then look at the national poll of approval yes. for this president yes. and make certain conclusions about uh, the um, the changed thinking uh, and the acceptance level of what once would have been uh, thought of surely as evil behavior by the American people. I mean, the absolutely. acceptance of it. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, uh, Art, you, more than me, more than most of us, uh, would, should be, would be, do, I'm sure, appreciate the fact that there is now a growing gap between what the spin doctors create as the public mentality and what people are really thinking. And only if we had... Do you remember the... What was it? Art, the Cube. Q-U-B-E. Do you remember that Cube business? The instant reaction to the television? I do. I do, yes. Remember that? Yes. Well, there's a very good reason why they would never install that. It was instantaneous, and it was done by computer. And um, if they put that in, and every one of the 200 and what... 40 million Americans, or roughly the adults amongst them anyway, yes. were able to vote. I bet you the polls would be totally different about President Clinton and everything else. Well, they might be. Uh, Father, hold on. We're at the bottom of the hour. My guest is the exorcist. Father Malachi Martin from New York City. This is Coast to Coast AM.
maybe it was uh, it was intended that you be here this night, uh, Father. Uh, well, Arch, these things. I, I I heard the hesitancy in your voice when you spoke about uh, coincidence, because in these things I do not think there is any coincidence. Yeah, I'm beginning to believe that myself. There's, there's a certain providence over things, and uh, you and I originally were supposed to talk about two weeks ago, but we had to put that off for one reason or another, and um, we happened to latch on to tonight when these two things have come to a head, uh, and other things have come to a head in the meantime, too. Um, so I... Before we leave the subject of the Pope and what has occurred tonight, Dan in Chicago um, asks the following. Yes. Please, if you can, tell us who are the advisors, that's in quotes, that recommended the Pope was safe to mingle with the darkness that is voodoo. I know it sounds like I'm being suspicious, but I just don't think these actions would be entered into without counsel. This could easily be the result of being too trusting with those nearest to him. That's right. That's right. He, he, you see, the Pope has a theological commission of his own, 30 men usually. Some of them are not Catholic. Some of them don't even believe in God. What? Um, some of them certainly, you know, leave much to be desired as regards the practice of Catholicism as such. And then there's that, that factor, number one. Number two, uh, in the immediate entourage of the Pope, if you look at the people he frequents with the daily, there is no shining light that you say, gosh, that's a holy man, that's an observant man, that's somebody you can look to for principles, Catholic principles. There is nobody like that. Anybody like that uh, who had power has had his wings shorn, well shorn of him. And I remember uh, talking to one of them recently, face to face, and he, he, he said, look, as a cardinal, what can I do? I have been stripped of all power. I said, Your Eminence, you can die. <laughs> you can give testimony with your blood. At which he was mute. I'm, certainly he was. Um, what do you see for the future of the papacy? This man is frail. I don't know how long he will be with us. If there are hands manipulating what's occurring behind the scenes, what do you think comes next? Well, I can have lurid thoughts, or I can have um, sort of pacifist uh, thoughts. I know that he himself intends to, if that has any valency at all, he intends to live past the Y2K uh, uh, moment. As a matter of fact, Father, he plans to go to Jerusalem, doesn't he? I know. He plans that and goes to Sinai. He wants even to retrace the steps of Abraham, who came from a town called Ur of the Chaldees, now in Iraq, if possible. He may be restrained in that, because uh, did you see that the reason why the papal visit to Israel and the Middle East was put off? Uh, because of the, um, uh, the problem, of course, with Jerusalem, is what they're suggesting. No, 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 the Vatican was very explicit about it. Oh? Uh, yes, Toran, who is the pr sort of prime minister, if you want to put it, of the Vatican Secretary of State, said quite blatantly, the danger of war breaking out there is too much. Well, it's another way of saying the same thing. Yes, yes uh, there's probably going to be a war over Jerusalem. Uh, that's it. And over the whole question of the Palestinian state, because no Netanyahu, question. Netanyahu doesn't want a, 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 a Palestinian state, and I quite understand why he doesn't. But I also understand why the Palestinians want a state. There are more of them than there are Israelis, by the way. Does the Pope intend in that visit, if it yes. is going to occur uh, around the millennium, to yes. try to bring together the three religions? Art, his dream, and it's the only dream John Paul II has had, he never dreamt of controlling his bishops. He never dreamt of improving the condition of the religious orders. He never even dreamt of spreading Catholicism as a belief. His dream has always been to create a dynamic at the center of which would be Roman Catholics. Grouped around them would be the other Christian religions or sects or churches, Greeks and Russians, 
and Western Protestantism. <laughs> and grouped around them would be the Jewish people. And grouped around them would be the Muslims. His dream was to make out of that a dynamic the world would have to respect. And it's, it's, it's his dream. Is it your dream? No, no. What do you think um, What's going to happen? will come to pass if he, if, he, if he lives long enough and tries this? What will happen will be that the institutional organization of the church, as distinct from the people who live the life of the church, the supernatural life of the church, that organization will cease to be the house of Christ.